Hi, we are the developers of the website sheetsheet.xyz. Our project was designed to produce handwritten texts based on users' own handwriting to help people who feel uncomfortable studying on computer written texts or who, for different reasons such as educational purposes, have to present a long and written text. Let's take a look at the website. In the home page, we see that the site proposes us to log into our account or sign in to create one. I'll now log into mine. We can now produce a text with my own and writing or choose a default one. Let's keep mine. The site makes us set the paper's appearance we prefer. We can now choose whether we want to write our text right now or simply upload a docx file. If we choose the first option, we'll be asked for the color and size of our letters, whether if we upload a file, we are going to use its same format. I prepared a file so that we can use it. Now I'll click generate and multiple pages will be shown ready to be downloaded. We could have done the same without an account using a default handwriting, but let's see what privileges an account will bring us. First of all, we can upload our own handwriting following the instructions. Then we can create favorites paper settings and we can track our last creations and download them in any moment. Let's now upload a handwriting. We need just a few steps. We have to download and print this grid. Fill it in and upload a picture of it. Our algorithm will crop each character and will be asked for confirmation or in case of error to crop them by hand. Once we have an handwriting we can set distance between each letter and each word to get a better result. and save particular settings to be faster the next time we'll create something.
our sheets will be shown in the home page. Hi, I'm Massimo Rolfi and I coded the algorithms from the grids and generated the sheets using Python. Hi, I'm Matteo Rubiani and I coded the RESTful API services and the database using Python. Hi, I'm Jacopo Stortini and I coded the front end using HTML, CSS and JavaScript.